to a new vlog. So today is the first time I've picked up a camera and filmed in about a week. Today is the Tuesday after Memorial Day and last time I filmed was Wednesday. And if you guys saw that vlog, you guys knew I was not gonna film for the weekend and that I was gonna just spend time with family. That's what I did and it was really, really nice to be with my parents, with my family for the weekend and to just not work at all. I literally did nothing. It was a much needed time off because the next month actually, today's actually June 1st, the next month is gonna be really busy and really fun and just really like kind of super fast pace and I'm really excited for what's upcoming and you guys, if you watch me, you guys know that um, I have like a trip coming up and I actually planned another trip coming up at the end of June. I'm going on a beach trip with some friends. So, um, and then I think we have maybe a, a third trip coming up that me and my friends want to go on. So I don't know, there's a lot going on. So June's really busy, I'm really excited. And I hope you guys are too for all the content because I plan on vlogging everything. A few updates. I did get my second vaccine on a Thursday and thankfully had no side effects except for like obvious soreness of my arm and a little bit of like swelling at the spot but it only lasted like a day and it's funny because this time around it wasn't as sore as the first dose the first dose i was literally like my arm felt like it was gonna fall off it was so sore this time around it was not that sore and i literally had no side effects i just felt a little bit of like sleepiness and actually it rained this whole weekend which really sucked so i'm glad i didn't make any like memorial day plans because it literally was freezing too it was like in the 50s and raining on friday saturday and sunday but it was still a fun weekend saturday was my mom's birthday if you guys follow me on instagram i like posted a bunch of stuff like we went to dinner we went to get thai food it was so delicious we had cake and we just had a nice chill day oh my mom loved the present by the way i showed in my last vlog when i went to the outlets i got my mom that pink michael kors purse she absolutely loved it and she like used it right away and it looked so cute on her she had like the perfect pink shirt to match it and then sunday i went to the baseball game with my dad the brewers won so it was just overall a really really nice weekend so i'm back and i have only three days home before i leave for florida so today i'm going to go get my nails fixed guys look at these disgusting nails they're like almost halfway grown out and i think it's been three weeks i just wanted to wait until right before i left for my trip to get them done so today i wanted to do something fun i wanted to do like an orange color because i feel like that's really beachy and florida-y so i was thinking something like this i think that would be cute so yeah we're gonna do nails today and then i'm also i'm gonna go get my lashes done for the first time in like three months like lash extensions and then we'll get my eyebrows done so we have a little self-care day going on it's all my like pre-vacation self-care things and i saw a tiktok and it was like there's no greater feeling than doing your like pre-vacation beauty errands so i'm excited and that's what we're gonna do today and then i'll probably clean up a little bit and kind of get things situated here before i go and then i'm also going to film my pack with me video so that will be a separate video from this that will probably go up before this vlog and i'm gonna probably post this vlog while i'm on vacation so i'm gonna have to edit a lot before i go so anyway yeah i digress i am really rambling i'm having a cup of coffee right now oh my god i just noticed there's a crack in this mug you see that oh shoot you know what i've been wanting to upgrade my glass mugs for a while so I'm, it might be time to do that i also want to stop by uniglow because these pants that i'm wearing right now i showed these pants once in my uniglow like vlog haul like i think it was maybe like a week or two ago these pants are so freaking amazing they're so comfortable they're so lightweight i wore these yesterday on memorial day when it was like 70 degrees it was actually really nice yesterday i felt so like cool in them so i really want to buy like a couple more for the beach and just for summer in general i feel like these are the perfect summer pants so these are the pants they're like um do they call them carrot style pants but they're so lightweight i love the tassel tie in the front and overall they're just such a good fit okay so i'm gonna go head out now to my nails appointment and also lashes and eyebrows everything's like back to back so it's gonna be a busy day but i'm excited before i go to my appointments i totally forgot my tire needs air so thankfully my apartment has a like free tire pump so i'm gonna go pump my tires right now or just like one of them i have this little thing on my dashboard that tells me like the tire pressure so it's like really convenient but yeah i'm gonna go pump my tires
get you a girl that can pump her own tires. Shout out to dad for teaching me. Okay guys, just got finished with my nails and here is how they turned out. I am so obsessed. They really did a good job. The girl that I went to, oh, I have lotion all over my hands. The girl I went to was the very first time going to her and I always get really nervous when a new person does my design, but she did so good. I'll post a photo on my Instagram if you guys wanna like screenshot it. I think it's so perfect for the summer, for, for like the beach. I wanted like something fun and bright for Palm Beach. I think that's so perfect. <laughs> I love it. And I also got my toes done. I just got white, cause that's like my go-to pedicure color. Then I also got my eyebrows waxed here. I usually don't get them waxed. I usually go to a separate place to get them threaded, but I just wanted to bang everything out in one like sit sitting. And I was there for probably two and a half hours. So not too bad. So I, I'm gonna go stop by Uniglo right now. And then I have to go to my lash appointment. It's only like noon-ish. Today is like really hot and it's a really nice day. The sun's kind of like going in and out. It's like partly cloudy. I think I want to go to the pool because the pool at my apartment has opened and I just want to get like a pre-tan before the beach. Does anyone ever like get a pre-tan before they go anywhere like tropical? Like I know I'm going to get tan. I'm going to get really tan there, but I want to be tan before I get there. Am I crazy or is that normal? So we'll see. I might like lay out for a couple hours. My pool is really tiny though. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about it is that there's only like... I don't know, like maybe 15 chairs that are out, so it's like really limited. But today is a Tuesday. I'm assuming people are working, um, which I should be too. I think I might actually take my laptop to the pool with me and work there. I have to edit a video. I have to answer a ton of emails. And I also have a meeting with a brand at five o'clock Eastern time. So maybe, well, I think I'll be done by the pool by then. But yeah, I think, I think we're gonna do that today because that's also something I wanna do is get a tan. Hello guys, update, I am back home. My lashes are done, oh my god, how glamorous do they look? I haven't got my lashes done in so long, so I'm like still getting used to it, but they're beautiful. Shout out to my girl, Catherine, AKA Baby, for doing my lashes. You guys always ask where I get my lashes done, so I'll link her Instagram handle so you guys can book through there if you're around the area, but she's bomb. So yes, I got my lashes done. I stopped by Uniglo and I picked up some things, not necessarily for my trip, but just some really nice essentials that I was loving. And then I also stopped by Target because just literally today, maybe like an hour ago, I got like this spasm in my back and my back just feels like it's really sore. Like I have this sharp pain in my upper back. I really think it's a muscle spasm because it's kind of where my right arm, I don't know that back muscle, but it's like where my right arm would like move. And I think it's my posture really because my posture is not that great. So I've been trying to like work on my posture, but yeah, my back is really sore. So I got a heating pad and then I got a bunch of other little stuff for my trip. Oh, I should show you what I got. Do you guys ever like get really excited before you go on a trip and you go to like CVS or Target that like pre shopping that you do to buy like toiletries and like travel size items. So I got a bunch of travel size items. I'll show you guys what I got from both Uniqlo and Target. So I picked up another pair of the pants that I was talking about. I ended up with the beige ones and I wish they had a white one because I kind of was looking for white. Also got a pair of sweatpants. I literally don't need them, but the material is just so soft. I touched them and I was like, oh, I gotta have them. I have to have them. And I think they should have been on clearance, I think. Yeah, so these were actually on clearance. These were only $10. So that's kind of why I got that. And then the only other thing I got is a t-shirt dress. And I love t-shirt dresses. And the material of this one is like really thick and strong. Like, you know how Uniglo has like amazing quality? It's just a plain white 
t-shirt dress. I thought it would be nice on days where I just don't feel like putting an outfit together. I just want to quickly run out on an errand or something, but it also make a cute like summer outfit with like some sneakers or something. So yep, that's all I got from my Uniglo and then Target, like I mentioned, got a heating pad. I wanted to order one on Amazon because like they're cheaper on there. This one was expensive, but it's just kind of like an emergency thing. So I'm going to use this later and yes we got a bunch of travel size stuff oops also got tampons because it's that time of the month also got salon pass for my back so we're gonna try those two later so i got a bar of soap and then i also got a holder for the soap where is it here it is so yeah i needed a new one i think i lost my old one and i got a bunch of the small clorox to go packs i remember when the pandemic started these were like sold out forever but i love these for traveling you can like clean your seat clean like anything around you we're staying in an airbnb so even though i know they clean it like i'm paranoid i like to clean stuff when i get there so yeah got those and then we got a deodorant and I needed a couple more hand sanitizer. We got travel size toothpaste. And I also got travel size makeup wipes. And then got a couple of these little bottles for shampoo. I have to bring my blue shampoo with me. I have to use like special shampoo. I can't just use like any small travel size one. So I'll put them in there. I forgot I had a whole other bag of stuff. I got a bunch of sun stuff like SPF for the beach. I got the Bondi Sand Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50, and I've heard really good things about Bondi Sands. I know a lot of influencers are promoting them. I don't work with them, but I was intrigued. So yeah, we'll try that out. And then I also got this. This is called 10 Skin. It's like a solution for razor bumps, for like ingrown hairs. It's just, you know, to put on before you shave and after you shave to prevent razor bumps. So definitely need this. And we got a tanning oil. I like to use tanning oil to help speed up my tan. So I think I'll use this today at the pool. And SPF 15, I'll use this today too for my body. And also got an SPF for my lips. You definitely need some type of SPF for your lips. So I'll use this today also. So yes, we are all prepared for the sun. I also picked up a salad when I was at Uniqlo, they had a sweet green there. And I got Kale Caesar. So it is a gorgeous day out. I think right now I'm gonna go to the pool. I drove by it on my way up to the um, parking garage and there was like two people there and there was plenty of sun. So I wanna go sit out and sunbathe a little bit. And then I have a meeting at five. I have to get on the phone call. So I think I have about an hour to like lay out there. So I think I'm gonna bring my salad there and eat there and then maybe i'll work there over my computer it'll be a nice pool day i don't think i'll go in though because i can't wet my lashes until tomorrow for 24 hours you can't um wet them so i think i'm just gonna like not go in the water maybe just do like half body or something so okay yes i'll see you guys at the pool back from the pool and I got home to a package from Princess Polly and it's literally all clothes for my trip so I thought we could unbox it together Ooh, I got so many cute things I'm really excited so first thing I got are a pair of shoes Ooh, I got these really pretty platform flip-flops and I'm just like so into the shoe right now if you guys saw my boohoo haul recently I got like a pair of black ones that weren't as high but it did have the same design of like the thong like that so I love it and I got this like really pretty nude beige color I thought this would be so perfect with some pants and be so cute for the beach so oh my gosh wait I hope it fits let me see if it fits my foot oh it actually is a little bit bigger than my foot but i think it's okay like i guess i'd rather have it be a little bit bigger than smaller i think i got this in a size nine and i'm normally size eight and a half but it's okay it's not bad still super cute i got oh a purse it's like a moon shape style and it's like a faux croc it's off white so pretty 
I feel like I have a lot of white purses, but I just really, really like this style. I thought this would be so pretty for the beach at nighttime with my like dresses and other nighttime outfits. I got a bunch of colorful like tops and dresses. I'm so excited. Actually, I wanna record a TikTok also. Okay, pause, I'm gonna record a TikTok. All right, I've recorded the first part of my TikTok. I like to do hauls on TikTok whenever I get it from like a specific store like H&M or Zara. Like whenever I get like a big haul, I like to do like little mini hauls on TikTok. So I just filmed the first part of it. Okay, so I will start with this, I believe is the dress I got. Ooh, I'm really excited about the things that I found. I think they're gonna be so perfect for the beach. Ooh, oh my God, so pretty. This is a dress, it's like a wrap tie dress. I'm gonna try all these on too later, but it comes with like a collar on top. It's like a plunge neckline, and then like I said, it wraps around. This is gonna be so pretty at night. Ooh, this white purse is gonna look good with it. And I got another green dress. I'm just loving greens and pinks. I feel like is what I want my color scheme to be when I'm at the beach. It's like a really cool like Y2K marble print and it kind of looks like it's like a skirt and a shirt set but really it's one connected piece love it okay and then i also got another dress this one is a more neutral color and princess polly is great they have free returns so i'm gonna try all these on and if i need to return anything i can so here is the dress so it's like a wrap tie dress it is like a champagne metallic see-through material, but it also comes with the slip. So the slip is like, it comes with the bottom slip. I don't think it comes with the top, does it? Oh, I guess not the top. So, okay, well it just comes with the bottom slip. But I feel like with this, I might wear this with like a um, mini dress underneath, like a spaghetti strap mini dress and then put this over it. And then I just got a couple tops. This one is pretty far out of my comfort zone. It's very colorful. It's a mesh, or not mesh, it's like a see-through shirt, button up shirt. And I wanna wear this with it unbuttoned and put like a bikini top underneath and just wear it like that with some shorts. I thought would be a really cute daytime beach outfit. I love the colors. It kind of matches my nails actually. Oh yeah, it does match. Oh my gosh, so cute. And the last thing I got from Princess Polly is another shirt. And I'm just obsessed with button up shirts. Like that's like my thing this summer. I love button ups. And these like mesh see-through ones are perfect for the beach because they're like super lightweight and here it is it's like a beige beige and white yeah and again with like the y2k print completely button up and see-through and i got this in size us8 everything i got is us8 that's my size so yeah oh this would also be cute with the flip flops right oh my gosh so cute okay i'm gonna try everything on i'm gonna actually finish my tiktok video first and then i will try everything on this dress is everything i imagine it would be it's so flattering and it fits so perfectly i love the color and the style and the sleeves oh my god literally so flattering on like any body type yes this is definitely going to be a night out outfit and then here are the flip-flops like i said they're kind of like i guess it's not too big but they are kind of heavy like they're pretty clonky which i guess is expected but yeah i don't know they're okay they're not the most comfortable but the dress is mwah, amazing so this dress was cute but unfortunately it is way too tight it's just like there's like no room for stretch and i can't even like zip up the side so yeah, it's cute, but definitely you would need to like size one up. Here's the champagne wrap dress. I absolutely love it. I think this will be a really nice nighttime outfit also. Maybe like a nighttime beach outfit. And maybe I can even wear like my bikini under here when we go to the beach like in the evenings just to chill out and have this over. It's so cute with these flip-flops also. I'm so obsessed. We love this one. Such a nice neutral shirt. And you can wear it super casual like this or over your bathing suit. So I don't know what I would do yet. I might do like the casual look. I feel like I'm like 
in that movie Rip Girls. Do you guys remember Rip Girls from Disney Channel in like the 90s? Like I feel like I'm one of the Rip Girls. Yes, we love it. And lastly, we have the pink top. And again, I love it. It's like the same exact quality and style as the beige one, but I just love the fun colors. I think it'll be so perfect for the beach. So yes, I literally love everything that I got from Princess Polly. Aside from that tight green dress, I'm gonna return that one, but I'm gonna keep everything else amazing. I'll link all of these in my description if you guys wanna check them out. I'm about to cook some dinner. We're making salmon and Brussels sprouts tonight, and just in time, I just got this package from our place. I got a new pan, and it is their always pan. It is their signature pan. It is a, such an amazing pan. It's non-stick, it also comes with a steamer that you can use to cook veggies, dumplings, anything you want. And you can use it for literally anything, to steam, saute, to grill, boil, stew, fry, anything you want. And it's non-stick, so it is so, so amazing. I'm so obsessed with this pan. So I got the charcoal one, I love the color. And it also comes with a wooden spatula and this is great because it can rest right on the what is this called the holder right here it has like a little yeah place for it right there when you're cooking so yeah we'll wash this and i'll use this tonight to grill my salmon i've made the salmon recipe before it's the spicy sweet one so i have some chili flakes garlic and paprika salt pepper oil and honey and then also sriracha is what i would put on here but i ran out of sriracha so we'll just put a little bit of extra like chili powder or something on it Okay, I got distracted and burned them a little bit, but that's okay because I love a good charcoal. So the salmon's almost done. I'm cutting up some Brussels sprouts. We're gonna roast them in the oven with salt, pepper, olive oil, and then I'm gonna top it off with some honey and balsamic vinaigrette, and it's gonna be like a little sweet glazed Brussels sprouts. I made this like in a really recent vlog, so you guys probably already saw that. Mm-hmm, looks great, aside from the burnt. That's okay. I am chilling with my new heating pad and my back does feel a little bit better. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes now with it. So I think I'm gonna just sit here for, I don't know, another like half hour and then get ready to go to bed. It's pretty late, it's 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And next vlog will be my beach, Florida vlog. So I hope you guys are excited for that. So I will see you guys in my next one.